Good day everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got a Lenovo here, ID Pad S145. A customer of mine brought it in. What it does, it switches on, but no display. Let's troubleshoot it and see. Uh, okay, the power supply. Another power supply. Let's see. You see, it's taking fifty three milli amp, fifty one milli amp. That shows that the light is the battery is charging. So if you can see that, you see the light. I don't know if you can see the orange light there. It shows it's charging, but no display. It shows it's charging, but no, no display. That's that. Put it on. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. See the light? Here's the light here. Let's put it on. It's on. Off. When you switch it on, three seconds it went off. You see, on, off, on, off. Okay, what will we do? Let's first of all clear the BIOS. Take out the BIOS CMOS battery. Take out the CMOS battery. Then. <coughs> This most battery and the battery. Okay, with this and then the battery, you jump. You can use a teaser. Just jump the two pin, the BIOS two pin. The CMOS battery two pin. The CMOS battery, see? That's for one minute or so. Then again, connect your battery back. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. See, it's on now. Off. On again. Off. For the third time, let's watch. It's on. Off. So. 
if we come with a power supply, maybe you understand it much better. When you come with a power supply, when you come with a power supply, when you come with a power supply, it shows that is taking 53 milliamp then switch it on again and if you can see that light trying to wait so let's hold on and then if you can see that light okay the charge light is on Okay, the light is on now. It's taking. F okay, then it drop. If you make notice of the milliamp, when you switch it on, look at the power supply. It's on 45, 60, 44. Okay, switch it. It's on now. 62 then it go, goes down watch again sixty one then it goes down so in cases like this what we need to do we have to troubleshoot it. Mm, we have to troubleshoot it. Uh, okay, first, the RAM. Let's take the RAM out. The RAM, the RAM is out. Replace the RAM. Let's replace the RAM. Here's another RAM. And we took this out. Then we're replacing it with another one. Okay. Okay. Take it. Let's connect the power supply again. Then let's see. Okay. Power supply connected. You see the orange light is on. The orange light is on. You see? Check the power supply 65-66 milliamp. Let's check. 65. See 64. You see? 63 okay 61 okay sixty one sixty two remember it used to drop to forty two Is this remain okay what we need to do now okay 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 in this case let's clear the CMOS again in this case let's clear the CMOS 
since we've changed the RAM, let's clear the CMOS. Okay. Okay. Connect the CMOS battery back. Okay, okay. Let's do that again. Power supply 45. 45 is on 42 now, which means it's not on. Let's power it on. Let's power it on. It's powered on 50, 65, 64, 65. Then we have picture. There you go. There you go. Let me forget to. You see? Then we have picture. What was the problem? In this case, we only changed the RAM. The RAM was fault. That was a quick one. That was a quick one. The RAM was fault. You see, this was the old one. This was the old one. We'll put a new one. That's it. Lenovo ID Pad. Was it? Lenovo ID Pad S145. That's it. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you like, subscribe. And share. Bye bye.